Personnel from NAFAC Southwest join CBs from NMCB4, NMCB3, ACB1, Navy Region Southwest, and Naval Base Coronado to commemorate the completion of a 7.9 million combat aircraft loading area military construction project April 20th in San Clemente Island, California. But we took the best from NAFAC Southwest, from Naval Base Coronado, from our partners uh, in industry and Reyes Construction. And I want to thank each of you for providing your best to accomplish something that is difficult. And this proves that when people get together and say, hey, we want to work together, we want to set conditions uh, to, to achieve success, and we're going to do something hard, and we're setting our mind to it, we can accomplish something fantastic. And, and this is something, this is just, my hope is that this is the start of a new way of thinking, an innovative approach to combine the best and brightest to achieve hard problems. This construction concept combines the best parts of industry with military engineering contributions in order to execute combat relevant infrastructure construction ahead of conflict and simultaneously posture military engineers to respond to high-end conflict at the point of need. This construction concept balances Department of Defense requirements, military capacity, and private industry to deliver engineering solutions for the security of our nation. The U.S. Navy has moved past fleet project delivery as only being either a contracting or a military engineering solution and has developed and employed an integrated engineering approach that leverages the strength of both private sector and uniformed service engineers. This construction concept combines the best parts of industry with military engineering contributions in order to execute combat relevant infrastructure construction ahead of conflict and simultaneously posture military engineers to respond to high-end conflict at the point of need. So your efforts and hard work are really going to make, uh, make for um, higher value, uh, better quality training done at a lower cost. I, mean, I think those are the two, two bomb being an FM guy, those are two, uh, two things that they always strive for. Right, they always, we always strive for an industry to try to make, try to bring a, a, a capability to the fleet at, at the lowest cost possible. Not necessarily the lowest quality, but the lowest cost you can possibly. Uh, and having sailors supporting sailors, the CBs, uh, you know, providing and having buy-in on being able to support our pilots and air crew as well as the the uh, crews out here on San Clemente Island, is going to help us be more effective and be ready for that fight tonight. Because uh, that's really what. Our, we've, we've asked our weapons school to do is be ready for that fight tonight because uh, we never know what our adversaries are going to do. This construction concept balances Department of Defense requirements, military capacity, and private industry to deliver engineering solutions for the security of our nation. This is a, a unique opportunity for us. We had some experience working with the Seabees out of China Lake, but this was the reverse. We were in a supporting role on this project. The CBs carried all of the heavy lifting on this one, and they did a wonderful job out here. I think that uh, based on what we've seen, we were impressed with the proficiency and, and the can-do attitude that uh, the CBs had in undertaking this project. Our nation's adversaries are growing stronger and are currently challenging our national interests and way of life. The U.S. Navy has moved past fleet project delivery as only being either a contracting or a military engineering solution and has developed and employed an integrated engineering approach that leverages the strength of both private sector and uniformed service engineers. Increased synergy and operational understanding between the contractor community and the military ensured greater effectiveness. We are currently engaged in competition with our adversaries and must enhance our united effort now to preserve the safety and security of our nation and its people. The success from this project highlights the relevance of the CBs and the needs and benefits of doing more types of contractor-supported projects. The completed project provides San Clemente Island two 125-square-foot combat aircraft loading area pads ordnance pad and subsequent utilities improvements consisting of perimeter lighting, lighting windsock, flagpole and emergency post phone. What will be required to support phase three kinetic operations in the Pacific? A strong team committed to overcoming logistical and environmental challenges to build quality support platforms on a Pacific island. This is that example. The CB skills developed during the course of this project translate to expeditionary airfield construction and repair and ground lines of communication. 
While the partnership with Reyes is a first of its kind in recent history, it will serve as the model moving forward. Captain uh, Matt Leifmiller, during his tenure as Naval Construction Group 1 Commodore, played a pivotal role in mobilizing CBs for this project. The quote he provided me this very morning as him and I were talking best summarized this effort. And let me just provide that quote. This project is the model for how we will win a war in the Pacific. Without the, without, without the 325,000 CBs we had on active duty during World War II. You know, we still have them. They're just primarily in the civilian construction contracting community, just like they were then. NAVFAC Southwest supports planning, design, construction, real estate, environmental and public works for U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, the Army, Air Force, and other supported federal agencies in Arizona, California, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado.